What is up YouTube? This is DJ Phantom here, and I have a hypothetical question. What if every time you littered, you would get a mark on your body, but it'd be like noticeable. It wouldn't be like, oh yeah, you know, you have like a scar, or maybe it looks like a tattoo. It would be something like really noticeable, probably like a pink line somewhere on like your face. And like the more you litter, the more um the more lines and scars you get and such. But then if you like pick up your litter or like start to help cleaning around the earth or something, like your marks like fade, but they don't like completely a hundred percent fade. You just have to like pay attention so you could like see the mark and it would just like go to show like what type of person that they are if they care about the environment or not and it would it would have to be like a certain situation like if you're intentionally doing it it would be like a bright color but if you like had something in your pocket and it fell out like you wouldn't notice it as much but it'd still be there and then if you go like pick it up within a certain time period of you not noticing then you could like this mark would be removed since it was like an accident but um that would show like a lot of people how much you care and it'd just be a crazy situation you could go down the street see someone and they'd have like no pink marks and they could be like the meanest person and then like your closest friend could have could be like covered in pink marks like all everywhere and then there'd be those people, like you might stop at a stop stoplight, and you look across and see some per person right beside you, and you see their car is all like messy and junk, and then they're just like basically pink, like it got that bad. It'd be real crazy. And then like people would try to get it removed, but like with makeup or other tattoos to cover it up. But it's just so pink and vibrant, it would bleed through. So then you can't get rid of your mark. The only way to get rid of it is to freaking, um, you know, clean up your act and help the environment. But it still wouldn't get rid of it. It'd only just fade. But it'd still be there. It'd be like a sign of your sin of littering on the planet Earth. It'd, it'd be crazy, actually. And then there could be like a whole cult group like, oh my god, we need to protect the earth or else you're going to be stained with pink. And then your children are going to be stained with pink. And everybody you know and love will be stained in pink for what you have done. And not even them, they just exist. But then they still get punished because of something you did. It'd be like a weird world. And it'd be those people like... Can I trust you to clean up? And you don't even have to like know them. You can just look at them based on the pink scars. And then that will be able to answer your question. It'd be so crazy. But then the thing is, like, if you litter, like what's what could be like the definition of litter? Cause you could be putting something in a recycle bin and freaking um it go to like the freaking dump but then like somebody freaking hits the truck and like all the trash and stuff spills over so then would the person driving the truck be considered littering since it was in their care or would the person that hit the truck be littering since they caused it to like go everywhere like it'd be it'd be a weird system I feel like somebody would find a loophole in it and like start littering everywhere but wouldn't really be littering it'd be it'd be a weird system honestly and then you like if you like go and visit someone and like in their house is like always clean but then you look at them and then they're just covered in pink it's it would make you really question if they like clean up before you get you get like over to their house or do they actually, or they actually like clean all the time, but they just litter a lot. 
and there could be like different marks for like different types of littering like if you litter in your well it's your house but let's say like you go outside and like put like a banana on a floor or something in grass and it's biodegradable it'd be like um it'd be green but then that would actually be able to fade like as soon as it's done decomposing it actually like fade away so you wouldn't see it because it'd just be a part of the earth but then if it's like something like plastic or paper that doesn't like that isn't biodegradable then yeah you get like a a harsh red harsh pink scar so then people will know you littered something that's not gonna decompose away while you're like still alive versus like a banana or something and then if you like help the environment besides like you know picking up your litter would that constitute as you know like being able to put it away or something or would it still just be like oh yeah you litter but you're helping the environment you still keep the pink and what if it's like false advertising like it said the cup was biodegradable so you just threw it out but then it turns out it wasn't and now you can't even go pick up your litter because like the tr like people came and already like put it in a compost bin or something if someone else picks up your litter do you still keep the mark showing that you littered or does it go away since it's not like there anymore it's it's amazing what hypotheticals could do with uh, just litter itself and then freaking how would the person be affected if they were tricked? Like I was saying earlier with the biodegradable. Who would really be at fault? Would it be the person like saying that it's biodegradable? Would it be their fault? Or would it be the person that threw it out because they thought it was biodegradable? So they was like, I'm just gonna litter this instead of like throwing away in a trash can. Weird. It's, ama it's amazing how far this can go. And then another part. Mm. So what happens if you're freaking doing community service? Is that? Well, that's also like considered like picking up at the zone. Oh, no, but then would that sort of count as um like removing some of your pink scars since you're like helping out the environment and picking up other people's litter? Would that like help you as um comp not compensation uh? I can't think of the word. It's not commemoration either. But you, you know the, the word I'm looking for. That um, if you make a mistake, you do something else. I might have said it. I can't. I can't think of it right now. It's. I, I, I think it might be compensation. I I forget. Like to compensate for like all of your litter, and you just go and pick up someone else's maybe. You know, like go clean up the streets and all the highways, and then like when it when you get the scar, is it gonna be like, is it gonna be noticeable? As in like, oh yeah, you see it, you feel it, you can hear it, like a weird taste just gets in the air. Like when you get it, how will you know if you got it? Because if it's like silent, then if you're if you accidentally litter something, you're just gonna go home one day, like, go to sleep, look in the mirror, and then bam. Like, you got a pink scar, but you, like, never knew. And you don't know when it happened. But if you had, like, a cue, like, oh, yeah, the, um, the air smells funny. <laughs> it smells, like, coffee and greens or something or whatever you littered. You'd be like, oh, I dropped something, so I should go and pick it up. And then how would those people that intentionally litter... And don't pick it up versus those people who intentionally litter get called out and then pick it up would it like be even more vibrant if they acknowledge that they littered and don't pick it up Ugh. it's just it's, this can go so many ways and what about those people that when they see the litter they want to pick it up but then they can't would they get punished too because they didn't care enough to go help the environment and pick up the little litter that there was it's this is just pretty crazy this is dj phantom signing out